ladies now i'm gonna basically show you guys how to do a basic headband and i got this um pattern off of ralvery if you go to ralvery.com they have it's basically a work uh website for um knitters crocheters or whatever and you can find all kind of free patterns my go-to needle is usually this 5.5 millimeter hook and it's the susan bates hook you can get it for like a dollar or no, it's actually boy. You can get it for like a dollar ninety nine at Joann's or Michael's. And then I'm using Red Heart yarn. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do a something simple, which is a baby's headband. So I'm not sure you. I know you guys said for beginners. I'm not sure if you guys have any experience at all. I've only been crocheting for a year, so I'm not that good in my own to to me. But anyway. Um, and I'm doing this video in my car on my lunch break. And I'm hoping that this video does not um, cut off. Because I want to make sure you guys get to see everything. So, basically, the first thing you need to do is to make um, the, a knot. I'm not able to really tell you how to do this to make it. Because um, some people are not able to make a knot. I'm hoping that you guys are. But basically, you just tie it around your finger you can wrap it around your finger pull it a little bit and bring this little extra piece through and that's the call the slip knot you can leave the little tail there you want to take your needle put it through the loop and tighten now <coughs> you yarn over and it can be abbreviated as YO if you if you read in a pattern. And after you yarn over, you see that your hook basically slides through, and you just bring it through that hole, and that is called a chain one. So basically, you're chaining. The basic the basic thing is you're chaining. That's what crocheting is about: making a whole bunch of chains, and then you crochet onto those. So for this particular headband, you're going to do 40 chains. So that's considered one. Now you, you keep doing the same thing. Yarn over. Make sure you have that hook pulling that yarn through. And you pull it through. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over pull through. Try to keep your um, this finger here loose because you don't want to pull it too tight. And so basically you just wrap your finger around the yarn so that you'll so that you're able to um, you know have get get extra yarn or so you're able to pull the yarn that's on the loop. So you're going to do that 40 times. I'm going to pause the video so that I don't run out of memory and then I'm when I come back on the video, I already have my 40 chains. So you keep going until you get to 40. Okay, so after you have your 40 chains, you can see what they look like. Um, you are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here's the hook. There's chain number one. There's chain number two. Okay, so into the second chain, you're going to single crochet. Now, a single crochet is basically yarn over, go into that second hook. So, after you yarn over, no, I'm sorry, I was going to show you a half double crochet. Let me not confuse you. For a single crochet, you take this needle. You go into, it's hard to try to videotape this and show it to you at the same time. You go into one, two, so you put that into the second hook, the second chain. Then you yarn over, and the same way you brought it through one to make the one those chains, you're going to bring that through, and that'll give you two loops on that hook. You're going to yarn over again and bring the 
yarn through both of those loops and that's a single crochet so that was one single crochet in the second chain from the hook I'm gonna do it again just in case you didn't get it now again the second chain from the hook you go into that pull through you'll have two loops on the chain you yarn over you bring them through both and that's a single crochet you're going to do that all the way across till you get to the end. So again, go through the next loop, yarn over, bring through, you'll have two chains on the hook, yarn over, bring through both. Go into that next chain, bring that yarn through, you'll have two on the hook, yarn over and bring through both. You're going to do that to every, through all the way through to each chain. And it starts to look like that this. Okay? So yarn needle through the hook. Yarn over. You'll have two on the hook. Yarn over, bring through both. Through the next chain you bring that yarn through that chain you have two loops on the hook yarn over bring through both I'm gonna press pause and I'm gonna um, after I'm done with all of these and I'll come back okay so I'm getting ready to go through the next loop well the last loop and I just wanted to make sure that I came back on the video to show you before I got there in case you were confused. Okay, so there's the last loop. You want to go in through the last loop. One single crochet. And then after you go through that last loop, the next direction says to chain two. So one yarn over, bring through two. So you'll have two, and then we're going to double crochet in each stitch across. So this was a, a single crochet. To double crochet is when you yarn over. Now you're going to go through this chain here at the top. Okay, so you're going to go through the same place that you see this chain too. You're gonna so yarn over, go directly through that chain, and make sure that you go through both. See, there's two little pieces in between there, and then you're gonna yarn over. There will be three loops on your hook. So you yarn over, you go through the first two loops, you yarn over, and you still have two chains left. You yarn over and you go through the second two sets of chains. That is called a double crochet. And basically it's just a longer version of the single crochet. It's two chains. <coughs> two crochets. Okay, so to go, go on the next one, the next chain here, you yarn over, go into that next set of chains yarn over bring through you have three chains on the hook yarn over go through the first two chains you still have two yarn over go through the second set of two, of two chains you're going to do the same thing all the way through I'll do a few of them with you hopefully this doesn't cut off yarn over go through bring out you have three on the loop, yarn over, bring through two, yarn over, bring through two. Yarn over, go through, next chain, yarn over, bring through it, yarn over, bring through two, yarn over, bring through two. Again, yarn over, go into that next loop, yarn over, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, bring through, yarn over, bring through.